Having a simple desk setup is one of the main things that's helping me focus at the moment during my engineering exams. What's important to me right now is, is it minimalistic? Is it portable? And does it help me study for long periods of time? Let's get straight into the tools I'm using to do all of those things. So the laptop, I have the M3 MacBook Pro and it's an absolute powerhouse. It's doing everything I need from coding to video editing. It's a bit more power than I actually need, I think. But what makes this laptop amazing is I have this MOF stand on the back and it's a portable laptop stand and it just comes with your laptop because it's stuck on and it's great, it's very clean and it just you can just throw it in your bag and you have a laptop stand with you everywhere you go and I can't recommend it enough. Previously, I was using this big metal laptop stand with my mouse and keyboard, but the problem with that, it wasn't portable setup. And why I value portability with my simple desk setup as a student because studying in different environments really gives me more energy to focus whilst I'm studying and being with other people. And when I'm in like a cool library or a cool coffee shop like Starbucks, it just makes it more fun and more enjoyable and makes my day more of an adventure and less like a boring grind. So I do like changing my environment. Even though I like studying in different environments, this is my favorite one because of this desk that FlexiSpot kindly sent to me. I was always quite skeptical of standing desks, but now I've used one, I wish I had one earlier. The main thing is because it helps me move. So it helps me move more throughout the day. And what I mean by that is that when I'm standing up, I'm more likely to go over to my door frame and do some pull-ups and just bash out a set. And that helps me just, I don't know, focus better because when I'm moving, I'm naturally quite a fidgeting person. I have all these like fidget toys with me so I don't like get distracted. I think I've got some sort of ADHD because I like to move around. And this setup really helps me kind of like switch up and not just sit down all day. And I think it's much more healthier and just helps me focus better. I was really worried about a standing desk when you put it up and down and a cable gets caught or something. And that's like a really expensive mistake, right? But the great thing about this desk in particular is it has like a auto collision detection. It's, it, it stops it for you and you don't have to worry about a very expensive mistake. And there's also something about studying on like a really high quality desk and like investing money into your desk because I feel like that's the most important part um, and I wish I had made an investment in this earlier because it's made such a big difference to me and I'm so grateful for FlexiSpot sending it to me and there's a link in the description for you guys for this channel to get some money off and stuff like that and I hope you guys can get one and yeah let's talk about my chair my chair is just like a standard it's got a supportive frame on it it's really comfortable i can sit cross-legged on it which is great it's very comfortable to sit on the biggest part of my setup which has been a recent investment is this wireless like charger for my phone and my airpods which is really important so i can have my airpods here and put them on there the problem with airpods is it's got a lightning cable and i always forget to charge my airpods and now they're always 100% and it's just so clutch because I use my AirPods all the time when I'm studying, I put them in my ears, no music, nothing, just noise cancellation so I can focus hard and stay focused because I quite enjoy focusing with no music, just being silent. <laughs> I use this lamp here as well. It just clamps onto the desk and it's basically just makes a very nice minimalistic setup and it maximizes the space of the desk, which I like about these lamps. That really helps to reduce eye strain, apparently, when you have a bit of light, light on your desk. That's why I like to be near a window and have some natural light on the desk so I haven't got bad eye strain. And having the laptop at higher helps with that as well. Most of the time I hide my laptop and I don't need it anymore because I can just review my flashcards and make notes on my e-ink tablets. Um, I got this from Austin Cleon's book, Show Your Work, which is a massive changing, life-changing book for me. And what he talks about is he has two desks, one that's analog and one that's digital. So he has all his laptops on one of his desks and on the other, he just has loads of sticky notes, his journals. And he says that the analog setup is where he produces most of his work. And I'm the same, like I feel so much more focused when I don't have a screen blaring in my eyes. And for my analog setup, I have e-ink tablets. And I started off with a Kindle Scribe, which was great, but it's, the software is kind of limited and you can't use everything which can be an advantage if you just want to read Kindle books and like journal on it, 
which is also great. But I use basically Anki and OneNote to do everything in my life. And at the moment, it's been the best device for me as a student to organize all my notes and focus whilst I'm studying. So that's been the biggest improvement for me. My trusted little pocket journal. Um, I have always have this on my desk and it reminds me what I'm doing, when I'm doing it and where I'm doing it. So I'm not getting distracted and, and um, helps me focus throughout the day. I have that open on my desk at all times so that I can see what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. Another thing to my analog setup is I use these sticky notes. This is especially useful for at the moment during my exams. When I'm reviewing my flashcards, I put the most important notes onto these sticky notes and then I just carry them into the exam with me and read them just before so that I've got it fresh in my mind. And I use it just to remind myself from simple things. And if you can see here on my desk, I have it to remind me of simple quotes like here, kiss, keep it simple, stupid, love work, do the thing for a long time. I just love sticky notes. Honestly, I could talk all day about them. And the final thing for my analog setup is I have all of these fidget things because as I was talking about before, I fidget around a lot and that helps me not fidget. Um, also, because I fidget a lot of my exams, um, chewing gum really helps. I don't know if you can get away with it, but I always do. I just act like I don't have it in my mouth and it really helps me focus when I'm doing my exams and it's a really weird thing. I don't know, try it out. Um, so yeah, three simple things to my sets up is minimalism. Always keep your desk clean. Try and spend like five minutes at the end of your day just cleaning your desk. Remove anything that's not essential. I use everything on my desk. And if I don't use it, I'll get rid of it, sell it, throw it away. And then second one is portability. So, so my desk, I want it, my digital desk setup and my, my analog setup, I can do it from anywhere, from any place. And it's not dependent on the location. And that's really helpful because it removes the excuses, helps me to be more sociable, and it gives me more energy to work in different environments. And the third thing is to reduce eye strain. I use my ink tablets, have a laptop stand and have natural light coming onto your desk. They're the main things. And also get go for walks outside. Just helps your eye strain. That really helps just like let your eyes breathe a bit. And yeah, if you like this video, check out this one and um, I'll see you guys next week. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week and bye-bye.